Okay, so I made the extra. wrappings that I needed. And it's really, really cold here. We are still, it's three o'clock and we are still below freezing temperatures. So it's not pleasant outside at all. I'll be done fixing these in a minute. I didn't work ahead on anything because I didn't want to skip anything so you could see everything as it is done. Oh. So two more here. And we are ready to start the cane. Now, all of this will be wrapped in translucent. Wow. Yeah, I guess winter is all over the northern hemisphere, huh? Okay, now, if you remember how the barb cane is done, even if with the barb cane you get this wrapping uh, all around the whole um, jelly roll but here we just did separate number one you have to make sure that you didn't leave any kind of um air between the wrapping and the cane itself and then it's exactly like for the regular uh barb cane and that means that i'm going to hold with this finger and then gent hold the cane like this because it will have the tendency to um fluff up and just gently pull the wrapping over the edge and then squeeze it kind of flattish and this gets done because see what i told you that it has the tendency to fluff up towards the end because you're bringing more clay there. So you kind of need to get it back on track. And it doesn't take long to do all this. You just have to be, as I said, you have to be careful to not allow it to go wonky. And then there will be another a couple other little tricks to get the, the proper appearance and to make the leaf look really nice when it's all done. So pull these up because the this will stay behind, will stay a little bit shorter than this because you're bringing all the clay to the top. So again, check for air. Then hold with this, hold with this, and gently pull the wrapping up. the heck are those animals doing? I hear some weird noises. Well, at least it's not midnight where you are, Cherry. I kind of feel bad when people stay up late just to watch my life but it's because I have uh, people watching from all over the world it's very hard to find a time when more people can be on I, generally speaking the, when it's noon here it seems to be the best uh, time 
also before I get into other stuff, because I, I forgot to say it in the first one. Um, if you are not following my Facebook, you are not aware of the fact that today I started a sales event on my website, and that is uh, includes the twenty percent off all the paid tutorials, and the sale will go on until the end of the year. And there's also, uh, uh, I forgot if it's 10 or 15% off on the rest of the items in the store, except for, of course, uh, what's on clearance. And I'm going to post soon some distashes, some more distashes, and uh, some uh, more cabochons. I have a whole big bowl full of stuff that needs sanding. So there will be a lot of stuff on sale. Hi, hi Donna. Hi, Carol. Okay, where did I take this? Here. So let me repeat this because some of you have just now come. Uh, for these wrappings, as I said, it's a modified barb cane. And normally uh, the wrapping would be all around the whole jelly roll, but we need to bring it up. So I'm holding here and I'm holding here. And I'm pulling the wrapper part up. After which I will flatten the segment. And because I'm pulling this up, this stays behind and it's a little bit uh, smaller, so it needs to be pulled up. And then we'll do another thing. Bonsoir, Dominique. Oh, there are two Donnas. Hello, hello. So, yeah, I don't know if you... I know that not everybody follows my personal profile, and I didn't post this on the Kaliana on Facebook. Um, what happens, I'm getting my... Uh, a lot of repairs on my house, including roof and stuff. And uh, the roofers called yesterday morning that they were going to try and kind of beat the winter weather. And I have a big uh, covered porch in the back. So, uh, and it has a metal roof. So, uh, they came to replace that and there was a lot of banging and a lot of noise so after a while i just decided i called my best friend and i told her let's go out in the park we'll take whisper for a walk and the funniest part was that uh, there was this uh, yorkshire terrier who wanted to make friends with whisper and whisper wanted to pee on it i mean that was so embarrassing he was such a little shit. What do you want? He he wants something. Do you need to go outside? Give me just a minute because I think he wants to go. Of course, he had to wait until I sat down and was busy. It, that's his thing. But yeah, and it was it was fun. I mean, he kind of got in arguments with squirrels. He's got a thing about squirrels, and squirrels love to tease him. They would just go right out of reach on the tree trunk, and then they'll turn around and start chittering at him. And drives him nuts. Okay, one more lobe and we start putting the cane together. Hi, Zenta. What do you mean you missed me yesterday? Oh. 
Ah, te revoilà, les loups. Cécile n'est pas. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Chris, again. Hi, Carol. Now, in a second, somebody is going to start crying. It's below freezing here. It's like 29 degrees. Okay, four more. Yeah, I had to put some uh, cream on here. I'm going a week from tomorrow to get more steroid shots in my... I'm getting them right here. And hopefully that will make things better because I right now I have a lot of problems pinching and grasping. Okay, in just a second. Somebody's crying. Hello. Okay, hopefully no more pet problems. Hi, JC. The, for the sponsors, yes, I, I had it. C'est je veux, je la vois pas. Peut-être elle s'est endormie. Okay, now we are going to start putting them together, but I'm going to do one extra thing. And uh, number one, make sure that I have the pinkish stuff, the veining all the way up. And another thing that I'm going to do is, and you can do this with a credit card or whatever, I'm going to do a little bit of indentation because that will make it even more realistic you don't have to do i mean you can skip this part if you want to but i'll show you how it brings even more realism Why did I use this part? Okay, now let's put it together. So, if you remember in the barbed cane, you pretty much get these in a line. Let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing perfectly. Focus and all that, because I'm going to put them in close up. Let me switch the focus. There we go. Okay, so. Now, the 
left part And now watch this because I'm going to gently push them upwards. And these actually need to be pretty much like this. So you're gently turning it around. And bring this other one up. Don't let them separate, though, in the middle. So this is the first stage. Let's do the other ones. No, it didn't show me. You know how I'm going to have to look. You know how Facebook doesn't always show you, even if you're following someone. I didn't see your heart before breast cancer. I know that there was some talk on the forum that they are now... Uh, I'm getting into new, into new research areas on the metastatic breast cancer. Okay. And you see, I'm trying to keep them in the arrangement, original arrangement, so they don't get messed up. And I would suggest you go, uh, my uh, comfort zone is like one inch. I can, I don't have any issues when I need to reduce something that's one inch tall. Uh, lower than that, uh, that starts being a little bit of a problem, but... Uh, it depends what you're comfortable with reducing. Awesome. So again, I'm putting them together like this and then make sure that they get stuck and then gently start deforming the top and pinching it together and then bring the other ones upwards. And the same on the other side. and don't let them separate at the bottom. So this is the middle lobe.
Okay, and pinch them. And then bring the other ones up. Now it's going to be a pretty big cane, but I mean, when I assemble it, but believe me, I don't want to go uh, too small because then it's going to be very hard to put it together. So now we have to get them all together. thinner here. Okay, my hands are hurting. Okay, so this is the first part. Make sure that they didn't separate anywhere. Yeah, try and get this one a little bit thin out too. It would fit better in the middle. And now we are going to start shaping the maple leaf and start doing also the translucent wrapping. Now remember when you start doing the translucent? No, I didn't add gold leaf. But you can, of course you can add if you want to. Uh, whenever you start wrapping with the translucent, make sure that your translucent is very well conditioned because otherwise it will be much colder than your uh, the rest of the cane. Now, one thing that we absolutely need right now is something that would be round enough. Then I'm going to grab uh, some translucent here and I'm going to make a snake out of it. I'm not much into, it depends on what you want to use the cane for because uh, Depending on how the cane is positioned, how the slice of cane is positioned, uh, and what clays you have in it, and the design and everything. Hi, Don. Um, the leaf might be completely lost. And uh, as I said, it depends what you're designing the cane for, because for certain types of jewelry, yeah, it makes sense, but if you make canes to for decorative objects 
it, it all depends on what you're trying to, to do, essentially. Okay, now we are going to start building the little things that the maple leaf has, right? So we are going to have definitely one here. And one here. And you want to do this when the clay is still fairly soft because otherwise it will be a pain. So have it this tall. Then I'm going to place some here. There's another thing that you can do if you want before starting this, you can put a, a very thin a sheet before starting the whole translucent thing to pretty much underline the edges of the leaf, if you want. But you don't have to. And unfortunately, because the cane is so big, I won't be able to show you a proper s slice of it until I'm done reducing it a while. That was not a good cut. Okay, so the same thing here, and I'm going to use this to, it's just Primo. I'm going to use this to kind of hold this a little bit so I can do the. And then hold on here and do the dent. And that's why I said it, it's very important that your clay is still nice and soft while you're doing this. Of course, you can go ahead and cut if you want. You can use the, the edge of a cutter to actually cut out the indentations of the leaf. Now let's do this side. I'm going to actually get this hole here. Non, c'est pas. 
En, en effet, ce n'est pas très difficile. C'est seulement... Un, un, c'est mes, mes mains qui me font des problèmes. And now we are pretty much done with the can start practically covering it up. Let me get this back. Where's matter? Here it is. I might have to get some more translucent. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to have to get some more translucent at this point. And remember, whenever I wrap, I prefer to add extra because I can always uh, trim out the excess. Un quoi un... Qu'est-ce que c'est ça Un, un cri. Un... Je ne sais pas qu'est-ce que c'est ça. Un chéri, non. Non, merci. Je suis très bien aveugle sans chéri. J'ai pas le temps pour chéri. Just avoiding the inevitable because <laughs> I know I'm going to need more. Non, ce serait bon si il y avait quelqu'un d'autre dans la maison parce que j'ai dit tellement de, de temps, assez de temps que euh, je dois faire tout dans la maison. Donc, quand je dois nettoyer la 
toute la journée et je ne peux pas faire de... Je ne peux pas patouiller ou rien. The, the French girls were making fun, were saying that I need a significant other to give me massages and I said no, no, no. I don't need significant others, even if it's sometimes hard because I'm by myself and because of my issues, I have to do everything around the house. But for example, if I have to clean the house, the whole day is lost because I have to recover. So sometimes, yeah, it would be nice to have someone else, but I don't really otherwise feel the need. Okay, and I think that at this point, I kind of need to, oh yeah, and for the, remember all the little extras that I cut out, they will become the stem of the leaf. And just get it all nicely mixed and simply flatten it out. for the leaf itself. But give me just a minute, I need to get more translucent. Oui. Absolument. Okay, conditioning time. And see, I thought that I got enough, but obviously I didn't. Yeah, and when it comes to my hands, that's uh, the second thing that's bothering my hands, besides the nerve damage from my spine, but and see, the worst part is that, uh, I don't know if you can see the spurs, but on this hand, actually, there's a little piece of spur that broke, who knows from what, and now it's floating somewhere in there, when, whenever it gets caught in the uh, joint of the thumb, it hurts like crazy, but then actually goes up the tendon like this. But it really gives me issues. That's what gives me issues, pinching and grabbing and grasping. And that's why lately I'm even avoiding buying stuff that got buttons or even zippers because it's very hard to button and stuff. I usually go for elastic band and stuff like that and Velcro. Okay. I think this should be enough. Okay, now you'll have to give me a few minutes to condition this. Okay, sorry, this is kind of old. 
so I mean, it's a little bit more difficult to condition. I'm so sorry, it's going to take like four or five more minutes. And it's a really, really hard one.
and I need to bring it to the same warmth as the rest of the cane. They're all sticky. Okay, so no, and the 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 conditioning is very important because if you don't have the all the clay at the same temperature, you're gonna have parts of the cane starting to come out. You know. And you definitely do not want that. You don't want that much deformation to happen. 
Okay, so. I'm going to pretty much, oops, build my uh, square. And that you build it by placing, pretty much shaping the corners. And remember, I made this to be kind of like a little stem here. And of course, you can make it longer if you want. I always prefer to make the cane square, especially the large ones, the ones that start very large, because it's much easier to reduce them when they are square. that I don't need more than this. Okay, so if I go... I know it looks all lopsided, but it won't be lopsided, I promise you. Do you see how I'm creating the square pretty much? Okay, so I need more squarey stuff here. Thank you. 
Okay, this should do it. Okay. Oh, I guess people in France have snow. Hi, Catherine. Now, remember when you're reducing, if you keep your cane on the tile, it will um, not allow a lot of wastage going down. But as you don't have anything on the top, this is why you need to flip it every once in a while. Because your main problem now, the main danger is that the core of the cane becomes cold. So it will have the tendency to stay behind if you don't hurry up to... And this will be a lot of cane. I just want to reduce it enough for now that you can see a slice. Because if it's too big, I'm definitely not going to be able to cut a slice. So you notice how I'm reducing, I press, I lift, I turn, I drop. And then flip over. I can start gently making it a little bit more to make sure that I'm going still the rectangular way. And just a little bit, and then I will get uh, to the size that I can actually cut it in two and continue reduce each half because it's much easier than handling, for me at least, than handling a big cane. Okay, I should be close to one inch. I said is my comfortable zone. Because the thing is that, remember I told you from the beginning that those strings, they look thick. 
but once the cane is brought to a normal dimension, you know, that should be around square inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, but not more than that. And the greatest. And then the, the whole string thing is not that visible anymore. And then the end, the ends of the cane make beautiful beads that look almost like marble. And I might show you that in a tutorial, how you can make glass-like beads with this type of cane ends. Okay, now I'm going to cut it and you can see even if it's a little bit bigger than the final, so the strings will still be kind of visible, but I might, I'm going to have to cut it off camera because I need to look from right above, not to make a mess of things. And there you go. Let me see if it's well focused. Yeah. And you can see that the, the stringy parts don't look that super obvious anymore. I know it's not a uh, super realistic, but it's a very nice uh, leaf, autumn leaf. So, of course, I'm going to have to keep, um, what you call it, reducing it. So um, I'll probably make either a tutorial or jump on on a live real quick to show you how to do the glass like beads out of cans uh, canes that are made in this way but uh, anyway yeah this is it the maple leaf cane and thank you for not being upset that i had to take a break but you see why because it's a pretty much a lot of work, especially for my hands. And I hope that uh, you enjoy making your own. Remember, you don't have to do the string things. In my opinion, it just adds an extra pizzazz to the whole thing. But you can make it just with simple uh, modified barb cane if you want. But you can see how the the whole leaf is darker on one side and brighter on the other side. And how it goes is pretty much a concoction. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you liked it. And good luck. And don't forget and send me photos of what you make. And don't forget about the sales event. So I'll see you next Sunday. and. Um, in a little bit, I'll be posting that pendant that's scheduled with the full PBO effect. Have a wonderful Sunday. Happy clean. <laughs> Bye.